What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Arrow's Garage slash Kid Hauler Garage. <laughs> So this is my buddy Chris. You guys have met him in some previous videos. He is from Kid Hauler Garage. Yeah, there's a link over there somewhere. Not on the wall. Uh, anyways, today we are going to be putting his six-door Cummins Chevy jigsaw puzzle thing up on our lift and replacing a gasket or seal between the transmission and transfer case. Uh, what makes this one different is since he's got a Cummins in it, he's had to move his transmission back three inches. So his transfer case is right up against the crossover bar that holds the keys for the torsion bars. So the front suspension has to be taken apart in order for us to remove that crossover in order to get the transfer case out. So there's going to be a few extra steps and uh, we're just going to have some fun getting rid of an oil leak. Yeah. Let's pull it in. Somewhere in there. Yeah. All right, let me back it out. That's good. Man, that's nice. You have to pull, pull so far forward that you can just open your door. <laughs> Man, I just, I really hope that's centered enough. It makes me nervous putting this 30 foot long truck up on a lift. So what I did the last time I was down here was I got as far forward as I could with that arm and then back the truck up to it and then as far as I could on that one and uh, I mean the arms are stretched out but I think it's better to have it yeah like this yeah <laughs> exactly <laughs> Probably. Woo, she's oily. Oh. <laughs> 
I the, almost got it. Almost got I it. Almost, almost got it. it. Okay. I'll stand here. Here, I'll just pull my feet apart. And... All right, so this right here is the tool. You can rent it at your auto parts store. O'Reilly's and AutoZone's carry them. Um, or you can buy one like Chris did because we've needed it several times. What this does is it takes the pressure off the key. So you can either turn this with a breaker bar, a crescent wrench, whatever. We're going to use an impact. We're going to rotate the key up just enough to take this piece out, which is what your adjustment bolt goes on. And then those keys will come out and the torsion bars will slide Ow. will slide backwards. Ooh, this is the scary part where we're shaking it and the thing is just moving all over the place. Um, when was the last time you had these off? When I put the transmission back in the truck. Because uh, uh, you should be able to drive it out right there. Drive it forward or drive it? Yeah. Oh, you go forward with it? Yeah, I believe so. Oh, no wonder it's not going back. I'm trying to slide it back. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you go forward with it. <laughs> There's the key. <laughs> I found it. Oh man, people are watching us and like, what are these two guys doing? <laughs> it always reminds me of the coconut comment. So yeah, <laughs> years ago, we, we had to replace the transmission in Joe's truck because it was leaking and he was he had sold it. Um, there's a there's a video of us just wailing on it with a sledgehammer after we scored it with a, a cutoff wheel and uh, someone at some point, had made a comment. It looks like a couple of monkeys trying to crack open a coconut. I was like, you should see us with a coconut. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, exactly. so the, the actual, once we finally took it to the transmission shop, David, a friend of mine, takes the thing, puts a, puts a two by four on the ground and slams the whole transmission on the ground and just showed us both up. <laughs> and apparently that's the way that you gotta do it. Is this correct to say in a text place that on a day chick Yes. Okay. Don't go too far back, your exhaust pipe will fall off. <laughs> no. <clears throat> Dude, I think your tail housing is busted. Where's that light? Oh, shoot. Look at that. No wonder it's leaking. And no, that you're lucky it didn't completely shear off and just spin your ta your transfer case around. And let me take a picture of that and send it to David. So it looks like this is going to really shorten our night. Yeah. Because we have broken parts, we're not going to be able to finish fixing it tonight. So I'm going to have to call in a favor and see if I can find another one somewhere so that I don't have to use one off of off of my Suburban. Um, hopefully you can find the metal one. Yeah, hopefully I can find the steel one and not the not the aluminum one. There's a transmission shop not too far from here, but they're close. It's too late. Yeah, yeah, tonight it's too late, so. We're gonna go ahead and disassemble this and I saw a four by four. Leave it on the lift tonight. I'll have to call my son and have him come pick me up. We really need to fix Joe's transmission jack. Yes, we do. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's one way to do it. Oh my goodness. What? I can change it. <laughs> on. Ready? Yep. Oh my wow. gosh. Oh man, that's not good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my. Man. See, that's the seal. That that's I the seal. Okay, so that's there the is seal one that in I thought there. was. Well, yeah, it's just leaking out. 
Uh, David. Man, there should be. Is there a hole there? Yeah. Yeah. So there's a hole that's supposed to drain it back, but it's not draining back because it's coming through there. Well, I mean, stuff breaks. I'm just glad it breaks on an old truck and not a brand new one. You could do the same thing with a brand new truck and it'd be 10 times more expensive. So This is the transmission out of my Suburban, right? Yeah. Or did you burn that one up and replace it? Well, we, I messed it up and then I run it out of fluid and then we rebuilt it. So okay. yeah, but this, is, this is the transmission that was out of your... Is this the tail housing from it? I'm sure. I can't remember what I did with the transmission that was in this truck, though. Hmm. Well, I say we leave that on until we're ready to swap it out. That way, the debris and stuff isn't getting in there. Well, I mean, that's that's well, the I mean, it's transmission kind of, right there. <coughs> yeah, but yeah, if we take fine. this off, we're going to open up the back of that to... It's a, it's a flat surface there. That's the transmission right there. Oh, it is? Yeah, yeah, this this piece stops right oh, there. Oh, okay, I get it. I feel it, okay, I see. So we could go ahead and take that off. It's not gonna hurt anything. Gotcha. I got a text message. Is that Dave whistling back No, there? no, I wasn't able to get a hold of him. All right. So, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Consider subscribing and check out one of these other YouTube videos. As always, thanks for watching. Right. Pan to that. <laughs> and cut. <laughs>